chapter 1 quadratic functions and equations in one variable so this is the last part of uh, chapter 1 okay so given a question like this you need to solve for x okay what is the value of x okay normally we will have uh, three step So the first step you need to form a quadratic function okay y equal to ax squared plus bx plus c that means uh, for example y equal to x squared plus 2x plus 3 okay so you will have a relationship between x and y okay after that from the question you should a you should be able to find the value of y Okay, so you substitute that y, you will get equation. Okay, just now it's function, right? So you should get an equation. For example, y is 4, okay? And then you should be able to move that 4 to that side, and this side will become 0 plus 2x plus 3 minus 4. So x squared plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Equal 0, I, move, I write here, equals, equal to 0. This is your equation. And lastly, you can solve for x. Okay, using factorization. Okay, and then the first bracket equals to 0, comma, second bracket equal to 0. This is your solve for x. Okay, so let's see the... Uh, let's see the first example okay so this is the example so x and here also x and this side is x plus 2 this side is x and then the question asks you to solve for x if the total area of shape P and Q is 60 cm squared okay so we find the total area is 60 cm square we can ignore the 60 cm square first we do first step first first step is you form a function okay the function is about total area so we can write area is equal to this area plus this area right so area of p plus area of q and area of p is x time x and area of q is x time x plus 2 time x right and then this part is x square and then this you can multiply inside like usual plus x square plus 2 x okay and then this is 1x square plus 1x square you will get 2x square plus 2x so this is your uh, function a equal to 2x square plus 2x and then you can you need to go we, we need to go to the uh, second step to form the equation okay so now we use use this one uh, 60 means the area is 60 right so we can substitute this area to 60 okay so 60 equal to 2x square plus 2x okay and then we can move 60 to the another side so I continue here 0 because 60 is gone equal to 2x square plus 2x minus 60 okay so okay I change the side here to make it a uh, equation which is uh, much more familiar for you okay 2x square plus 2x minus 60 is 0 and then the common factor here is 2 I can get rid of a 2 here if you don't want to get rid of a 2 it's also okay but it's a uh, you will deal with a large number later on so we get rid of the 2 first everything I divide by, divided by 2 yeah so 2x squared divided by 2 
I will get x squared 2x divided by 2 get x and then negative 60 divided by 2 you get negative 30 equal to 0 okay and then here you need to factorize this is the third step okay third step you need to factorize okay how to factorize okay I do it at this side okay x squared is here uh, minus 30 is here plus x is here okay so x squared is x times x minus 30 you have a lot of factors okay 1 times 30 2 times 15 3 times 10 4 5 times 6 okay so here is 1 right so which pair you will give you 1 plus and minus will give you 1 so this pair right 6 minus 5 you get you give you 1 6 minus 5 will give you 1 6 minus 5 will give you 1 okay so 6 times x you give you 6x minus 5 times x give you minus 5x okay you test here this is plus right plus so 6 plus minus 5 you get 1 and then 6 positive 6 times minus 5 you get minus 30 right okay so this is your pair of factorization x plus 6 you put in the first bracket second bracket you put in x minus 5 so the first part equal to 0 second part equal to 0 and then x is minus 6 x is 5 okay so let's see we have two answer right two roots which is suitable which one is suitable okay so can this length negative number so no right this length is always positive right so this one is rejected you can write rejected so this one is the final answer x is 5 but don't forget the okay uh, yeah x is 5 okay so x is 5 is the final answer so remember these three steps you need to form a function and then substitute the value of y you get an equation and then you can use more uh, use the factorization to solve for your x and that's it for the lesson today and thanks for watching